good evening all of you good evening ma good evening sir good evening charmi good evening swati good evening, good evening sir uh charmi i think you are absent to bowling swati yes okay good evening sir good evening ma nidhi choudhary good evening sir good evening sir anish good evening good evening sir anish i think uh, somebody is entering with your name यस सर सर पता नहीं सर वो कौन था सर वो हैकर था हु हु इज ही हियर आई डोंट आई डोंट नो सर आई डोंट नो वी कैन सर सर आई एम टेकिंग द क्लास बट इन बिटवीन द क्लास ही केम एंड स्टार्ट वी कैन आइडेंटिफाई हिम एंड वी कैन रिमूव यस सर प्लीज रिमूव दैट स्टूडेंट्स हु इज मेकिंग दिस टाइप ऑफ नॉइस एंड रिमूव विल रिमूव श्योर Okay. Sir, also in chemistry class, he disturbed the class. He is disturbing, na? Yes, sir. Sir, uh, nothing. Who you identify him? Are you? If you identify him, we will simply will remove. Okay, sir. First, we have to identify, na? Sir, I think some of the student gives the link. Yes, sir. in other huh? social platform in other in other social platforms Some yes sir yes What? sir i don't know sir who are they sir they changed the name uh, rip uh, they changed the name uh, he changed the name ah uh? yes sir yes sir who is he are uh? we will identify we will identify <coughs> we will identify the number accidentally if we identify this number uh, simply we can remove okay na Yes, sir. Like, ah. आज उन्होंने यूज किया था सर 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 हेल्पलाइन सर 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 हुआ ओके ओके छोड़ो कोई बात नहीं नाउ विल स्टार्ट द सेशन यस यस सर सर ऑफ स्ट्रिंग्स और वेलोसिटी ऑफ ट्रांसफर्स टॉपिक नेम इज velocity velocity of transverse waves velocity of transverse waves that velocity you have to find out <coughs> you know sound waves are mechanical longitudinal and as well as the transverse waves Sound waves are mechanical, longitudinal, as well as the transverse waves. So, longitudinal waves means how the sound will produce actually. So, how the sound will produce when your body vibrates, the sound will produce. When your body, when your body vibrates, when your body vibrates, the sound will produce. Sound will. produce means if you take the body this is the body if you hammer it so this is the hammer if you put the hammer then the particles which are in this body are vibrate in two and fro motions suppose if you check this particle that particle is moving in two and fro directions this particle is there no it will move in two and fro directions like this it won't leave its original position it won't leave its original position but it will move in two and fro directions so whenever these all particles are moving in these directions then compression will occur whenever they come back rare fraction will occur rare fraction in compression they transfer the energy they transfer the energy in rare fraction they come back and they took the uh, uh, energy and again through compression they transfer the energy the successive distance between one compression and one rare fraction is called wavelength lambda the successive distance between one compression and one rare fraction is called wavelength lambda so sound waves are mechanical longitudinal waves and transverse waves also so when a mechanical to to transfer the mechanical waves so these are the mechanical waves mechanical waves to transfer the mechanical waves we need the material medium material medium we need the material medium means velocity of sound 
velocity of sound is more in solids than in liquids than in gases velocity of sound is more in solids than in liquids than in gases velocity of sound in vacuum velocity of sound in vacuum is zero so to propagate the sound we need the material medium to propagate the sound to propagate to propagate the sound we need we need the material medium material medium to propagate the sound we need the material medium okay <coughs> these are the longitudinal waves similarly in transverse waves to produce in the string so now you can go for uh, strings so if you go for strings so that's what i'm telling velocity of transverse waves so in velocity of transverse waves velocity of transverse waves transverse waves velocity of transverse waves how to find the velocity of the transverse waves means that if you take the string so if you take the string it is the string you take this is the string string wire it is string it has a length l the string is fixed in between two rigid supports these are the fixed supports fixed supports fixed supports now if you pluck at its center if you pluck at its center if you pluck at its center it is the center if you pluck here wherever you pluck there you will get the anti node means the string will become like this so here will create anti node anti node means it is the node at which the amplitude is maximum and here you will get the node it is also known known so at no amplitude is zero at anti node amplitude is maximum like this now see how to write that velocity first you can write the tension in the string tension is equal to ma so tension t is equal to m into velocity by time you do one thing you multiply you multiply and divide with the length you multiply with length and divide with length so this is mass per length and here again l by t is there l by t is nothing but velocity therefore t is equal to mass per length is nothing but linear density <coughs> into v square into v square therefore v square is equal to t by rho l rho l is the linear density linear density linear density. therefore velocity of velocity in the string v is equal to root over t by rho l in meter per second please take it so that is the velocity of transverse wave so this is called velocity of transverse wave velocity of transverse wave what are transverse waves transverse waves creates crust and trough transverse waves creates crust and trough so transverse waves are there like this this is the crust and trough crust and trough so the successive distance between on crust and trough is nothing but wavelength lambda so why is the transverse waves the vibration of the particle is perpendicular to the principal wave so what is the transverse wave means these are the transverse waves transverse waves means the vibration of the particle is perpendicular to the principal wave means with respect to mean it is moving in two and fro direction like this suppose is the particle it is going here coming here and coming here two and fro direction perpendicular to the progressive wave what about longitudinal waves longitudinal waves are parallel parallel to the progressive wave parallel to the progressive wave so longitudinal waves are parallel to the progressive wave transverse waves are perpendicular to the progressive wave transverse waves creates compression and refractions 
longitudinal waves creates uh, 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 transverse waves creates uh, crust and trough longitudinal waves creates compressions and rare fractures so the successive distance between one compression and one refraction one rare fraction is wavelength lambda here the successive distance between one crust and a trough is the wavelength lambda any doubt no sir no doubt sir. please complete it you take a velocity of transverse waves in the string v is equal to root over t by rho l what is t tension what is rho l linear density rho l is the linear density linear density yes and it is kg per meter yes and it is kg per meter please take it yes and it is kg per meter yes and it is kg per meter completed yes sir all <coughs> divya completed yes sir completed asma came oh yes, sir good evening sir good evening asma just now we came morning you are absent yesterday you are absent uh, sorry sir <coughs> sorry yaar you have to attend na okay you take one problem do this problem yes sir uh, write the problem please a steel wire 6 meter long a steel wire 6 meter long a steel wire 6 meter long has a mass of has a mass of 6 grams 6 grams has a mass of 6 grams and is stretched and is stretched with a tension of and is stretched with a tension of 1000 newtons 1000 newtons ek sath do class chal rahi hai steel wire kitne hai none ne mujhe bata who is talking so a steel wire okay unhi ki bata has a mass of two me a steel wire 6 meter long has a mass of 6 gram and is stretched with a tension of 1000 newtons calculate the speed of propagation of the transverse wave calculate the speed of the propagation of the transverse wave please do it please do it wait sir yes Rubina, good evening. Good evening, sir. I think you are absent, Mardi. Yes, sir. What is the answer? A. Nirman Way. X. अब देख क्या रहा और डांस नहीं नहीं मिथुए हैं प्रत्येक खिलौने का मूल्य पचपन में से में से एक दिन में खिलौने की संख्या को घटाने से प्राप्त के बराबर है यानी पचपन माइनस एक्स ठीक है इसमें तो घटाने के बराबर है हाँ तो कुल निर्माण कितना होगा कुमार प्लीज म्यूट योर माइक Somebody is okay. यानी कि कुल इतने ये इसकी गुना किसके बराबर दिया कि आश्चर्य ओके सर ट्वेल्व पॉइंट नाइन हाउ मच यू गट वेलास्टी रूटो टी बाई एम ना टी बाई एम टी बाई सर ट्वेल्व पॉइंट नाइन आर 12.9 sir why are tension is t by m 1000 t by m you can find mass per length linear density you can find mass is 6 into 10 power minus 3 divided by length is 6 only that is 10 power minus 3 you are getting 10 power minus 3 kg per meter divided by 10 power minus 3 that is root over 10 power 6 means 1000 Thousand meter per second. That is the velocity. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
very simple problem that is yes sir yes next sir i have taken uh, m by l hmm i have not taken m by l i have, i have taken m only why because that is the linear density no yes sir linear density you have to take that is the linear density right next problem next next side heading frequency of a vibrating string frequency of a vibrating string next side heading is frequency of a vibrating string frequency of a vibrating string frequency of a vibrating string see first of all that's what i told you these are the fixed supports and it is a string length of the string is l if you vibrate here so wherever if you vibrate there anti node will occur so wherever you can make there anti node will occur like this so here it is anti node and it is node it is node the successive distance between node and node is lambda by 2 the successive distance between node and node is lambda by 2 okay so l is equal to lambda by 2 lambda is equal to 2l now you write the equation the last equation v is equal to l lambda v is equal to l lambda therefore n is equal to v by lambda n is equal to lambda means 1 by 2l into velocity means root over t by rho l so this is the formula this is the formula number 1 here this n is called called fundamental frequency fundamental sir, frequency sir yes can you please repeat read the formula that formula again which one here sir n is equals to प्लीज की Sir, I am Pavan, not sir, Anish. Sir, can you repeat it again? Yeah, see here. Yes. <coughs> see here. Suppose this is the string. This is the string. Okay. If you pluck here at the center, if you pluck here at its center, so wherever if you plucking, there you will get the anti node. That's what I told you. This is anti node, and it is node, and it is node. anti node means here amplitude is maximum maximum here amplitude is minimum minimum suppose if you take a, if you pluck at one fourth part one fourth one fourth part one fourth part then where you will get that node at l by 2 like this and again like this is it correct or stationary waves like this will go yes. like this. so this is node and it is node and it is node the successive distance between three nodes is lambda successive distance between three nodes is lambda successive distance between node and node is lambda by 2 successive distance these are the anti nodes successive distance between anti node and node is lambda by 4 what is your doubt ask me successive distance between three nodes is lambda successive distance between two nodes is lambda by 2 successive distance between node and anti node node and anti node is lambda by 4 what is your doubt anish sir clear okay now if you pluck here node and node has there node successive distance yes, between node and node is lambda by 2 means length of the string is equal to lambda by 2 lambda is equal to 2l now v is equal to l lambda n is equal to v by lambda n is equal to lambda means 2l 1 by 2l into root over t by rho l t by rho l this is called fundamental frequency this n is called fundamental frequency any doubt no sir 
<coughs> no sir no doubt this is the first case and second case i'm writing yes sir second case so second case i'm writing see here wait, sir please wait sir ah oh, yes yes okay sir please wait okay okay sure sure jyoti good evening done from my side sir jyoti wait sir done sir completed okay yes sir completed okay, okay. next case 2 you go for case 2 case 2 what is the next probability that we have to see next probability it is the string in previous case you pluck at its center no now you can pluck at its 1 by 4th of its length 1 by 4th of its length means uh, if you pluck its uh, 1 by 4th of its length from here to here it is l by 4 if you pluck here so if you pluck here what happened see if you pluck here if you pluck here at it then at its uh, center you will get node and like this like this so here you have the node this is node and it is node this is the next probability successive distance between these two is lambda means length l is equal to lambda in this case <coughs> now you write the equation v is equal to this frequency you can assume it is as a n1 n1 into lambda n1 is equal to 1 by lambda into v what is lambda or lambda 1 you can assume what is lambda 1 that is l only therefore n1 is equal to n1 is equal to 1 by l into root over t by rho l you do one thing you divide and multiply with 2 you divide and multiply with 2 so you multiply with 2 and 2 now what is this one 1 by 2 l into root over t by l that is fundamental frequency therefore n1 is equal to 2 n n1 is equal to n this n1 is called n1 is there no n1 is called first overtone first overtone this is the overtone this is the first one this is the first overtone first overtone first overtone so this n1 is called called first overtone first overtone first overtone that is any doubt any doubt sir n1 is equal to what is written oh. here see v is equal to n1 lambda 1 n1 is equal to 1 by lambda 1 into v lambda 1 is nothing but this one this total length length is equal to l only na i told you that the success yes, the successive distance between three nodes is lambda means lambda 1 is equal to l in this case that i have written 1 by l into root over t by l you multiply and divide with 2 now 1 by 2 l into root over t by root l is the fundamental frequency already i have written here fundamental frequency here i have written no first case yes sir got it 1 by 2 l into root over t by l is it correct or not any doubt no sir this is the fundamental frequency no so here n1 is equal to n what is n1 that is called first overtone any doubt any doubt no, no, sir. no sir no doubt okay next you go for uh, suppose if you pluck one 1/8 part case 3 case 3 if you pluck uh, this string at 1/8th part 1/8th part means at 1/4th part you get node and again half of one more node like this you will get is it correct or not any doubt regarding this please ask me at 1/8th part this is 1/8 means lambda by 8 so at a lambda by 4 
you will get load at lambda by 4 and from here it is also lambda by 4 and here it is also lambda by 4 and it is also lambda by 4 lambda by 4 4 lambda by 4 means lambda like this if you pluck here now this is node this is node this is node this is node and this is node successive uh, successive distance between three nodes is lambda successive distance between three nodes is lambda successive distance between three nodes is lambda one two three three nodes is lambda and here also successive distance between three nodes is also lambda means total length of the string total length of the string is this one only total length of the string is equal to two lambda lambda is equal to or lambda two we can assume this lambda two is equal to l by two <coughs> now you write the equation v is equal to n2 into lambda 2 n2 into lambda 2 n2 into lambda 2 n2 is equal to 1 by lambda 2 into v what is lambda 2 l by 2 so n2 is equal to 1 by l by 2 into root over t by rho l you do one thing divide with and uh, multiply with the 2 divide and multiply with the 2 so what you get that is i think uh, if you pluck at uh, 1 fourth uh, l by 4 l by 8 uh, if you pluck at m, l by 8 uh, you will get uh, uh, l by l by 4 if you pluck at l by 2 you will get node and same at l by 8 l by 8 uh, uh, you will get uh, at l by 2 at l by 4 as uh, l by 8 l by 4 as yes so now you multiply with 2 this one so n2 is equal to 2 into 2 by 2l into root over t by 2l what is 1 by 2l 1 by 2l rule that is n2 is equal to 4 4 n this n is called fundamental frequency and this n2 is called second overtone second overtone that is the second overtone so ratio of that overtones you can take ratio they will ask the ratio that is n is to n1 is to n2 and so on that is equal to 1 is to 2 is to 4 is to also please take it <clears throat> means if you pluck at uh, one fourth means one fourth and one or three loops means three will come sir done completed completed no sir wait sir yes <coughs> Done. Done, sir. Right. Next side heading. Loss of transverse waves. Loss of transverse waves. Loss of transverse waves along structured string. Loss. Loss of transverse waves along structured string. Next side heading is. Loss of transverse waves.
mass of transverse waves along stretched skin. Loss of transport is along stretches. So, first of all, you write the, that equation. That equation is P is equal to 1 by 2L into root over T by rho L. This is the first. Now, first law. First law. What is the first law? First law. <clears throat> first law is C. By putting tension and linear density as constant. By putting tension and linear density as constant, uh, this is uh, what is this one frequency? Sorry. So by putting by putting tension and linear density as constant, then the frequency of the string, the frequency, is inversely proportional to its length. Means n1 l1 that is equal to n2 l2 that is equal to constant. This is the first law. And second law. Second law is by putting length as constant and linear density as constant, then the frequency of the given string is directly proportional to root t. Means n1 by n2 is equal to root over t1 by t2. <coughs> Third law. By putting length and tension as constant, the frequency of the given string is inversely proportional to square of the linear density. That is, n is proportional to 1 by root rho l. Means, n1 by n2. That is equal to root over rho l1, rho l2, divided by rho l1. So, these are the three laws. Please take it. Sonometer is experiment to verify these all these laws. Sonometer is there, no? Sonometer. Sonometer is the experiment to verify all these laws. Sir, what do you, uh, what do you have written in third law? <coughs> yes. Sir, third law. Third law. Yes, sir. N1 upon N2 is equals to root of rho L2. Rho L2 by rho L1. Shall I write again? N1 by N2. Root of rho L2 by rho L1. Inversely proportional. No? Linear density. Rho L is nothing but linear density. Okay, sir. Then, sir. Right. Now you do the problem. All of you do the I am expecting answer from Divya. Please do it. The fundamental frequency, the fundamental frequency, the fundamental frequency of a stretched string, the fundamental frequency of a stretched string, the fundamental frequency of a stretched string, executing the fundamental frequency of a structured string executing transverse vibrations, transverse vibrations, transverse vibrations is 500 hedge, 500 hedge. The fundamental frequency of a structured string executing transverse, transverse vibrations is 500 hedge. Find its frequency Find its frequency. Find its frequency. If the tension in the string is, if the tension in the string is, if the tension in the string, if the tension in the string is four times, if the tension in the string is, tension in the string is, is increased four times, is increased four times is increased four times is increased four times 
is increased four times. What the given question see? The fundamental frequency of a structure string executing transverse vibration is 500 hertz. Assume tension is T. Find its frequency if the tension is increased by four times. 40. What is the answer? What is the relation between tension and uh, frequency? Second law. What is the second law? Sir, and one upon and sir, thousand hertz. One upon T two. Sir, answer. What is the answer? Sir, answer is thousand hertz. Answer is thousand. Yeah, thousand hertz. N two is equal to thousand hertz. Yes, that is correct. Right, good. Next problem. Next problem, you take this. A wire of length one meter. A wire of length one meter. <clears throat> a wire of length one meter and a mass twenty grams. A wire of length one meter and a mass twenty grams is stretched by a tension of. Sir, what is length? A wire of length one meter. Okay, sir. A wire of length one meter. A wire of length one meter. A wire of length one meter, and mass twenty grams. And mass twenty grams. Twenty grams is stretched by a tension. Is stretched by a tension of. 800 newtons. 800 newtons. Full stop. Find, find, find the fundamental frequency. Find the fundamental frequency. Find the fundamental frequency, and the frequencies of, and the frequencies of, and the frequencies of first two overtones. And the frequencies of first two overtones, and the frequencies of first two overtones, and the frequencies of first two overtones. And the frequencies of first two overtones. First, you have to find out the fundamental frequency. Fundamental frequency means like this: load and load. In this case, L is equal to lambda by two. That is the first one. Second one is you have to vibrate two loops. First of all, tone this is. So this is load. This is load. This is load. L is equal to lambda, and third one is <coughs> three loops, not four loops, three loops. Okay, sir. Three loops. Node, 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 and node. So yes. this is lambda, and it is lambda by two. Total three lambda by two. This is the second word. Sir, ah. fundamental frequency is hundred. Fundamental frequency hundred. Ah, I'll check it. Yeah, hundred hertz. Correct one. Sir, hmm. Sir, so the first oh. frequency of first word one is two hundred and second is three hundred. Very good. Very good. Yes. Correct one. Correct. Next problem. Next problem. Two strings A and B. Two strings. Two strings A and B of same length. Two strings A and B of same length. Two strings A and B of The same length are stretched, are stretched on a sonometer. Two strings A and B of the same length are stretched 
आणि सोनोमीटर सर सोनोमीटर सोनोमीटर ओके सर सोनोमीटर सोनोमीटर अंडर द सेम टेन्शन अंडर द सेम टेन्शन इफ देर लीनियर डेन्सिटी आर इन द रेशियो इफ देर लीनियर डेन्सिटी इफ देर लीनियर डेन्सिटी if their linear densities are in the ratio 4 is to 1 4 <coughs> 1 is to 1 calculate calculate the velocity of the wave in the second wire in the second wire velocity of the wave in the second wire in bracket assume As you so of the wave, can you repeat from of the wave? I'll repeat. That. Two strings A and B. Who is yet? Two strings A and B of the same length are stretched on a sonometer under the same tension. If the linear densities are in the ratio, if the linear densities are in the ratio, four is to one. Calculate. The velocity of the wave in the second wave, in the second wave, in practice. The velocity of wait, I sir. Wait, sir. Wait. wait. Ashutosh. Hey, go. Ashutosh Kumar. Why, please mute your mic. Yeah. See. Assume the velocity of the first wave. Velocity of the first wire is 500 meter per second. Do it. <coughs> Relation between velocity and linear density. What is the relation between velocity and linear? V is equal to tau T by rho L. Tension is constant. V is the proportional to one by rho L. Do it, please. V B divided by V A. That is equal to root over rho L A divided by rho L. Rho L A and co. Rho L. Sir, it's thousand. Answer is thousand is correct. <laughs> so that is the royal way by royal way, the four by one two. So V B divided by V A that is equal to root or four by one that is equal to therefore V B is equal to two into V A five hundred two into five hundred that is equals to thousand. Thousand meter per second. Yes, sir. Next side heading Doppler effect. Yes, sir. Doppler effect. Very important. That is Doppler effect. Doppler effect. D O P P L E R. Doppler effect. See, I have given one uh, important uh, point to you. Please listen. If you do the experiment in the same medium, medium will not change. If you do the experiment in the same medium, in the same medium, frequency will change. Frequency will change. Wavelength will not change. wavelength will change will not change if you do the experiment in different medium different medium frequency is constant wavelength is variable for example see here 
suppose if this is air and it is water <coughs> it is normal line light ray is coming from air to water sir yes sir my network is not stable sir can you repeat it again sir yeah one minute one minute i'll repeat anish when light ray is coming from rarer to denser its velocity decreases and it bends towards the normal like this means wave length is vary refractive index of the second medium with respect to first medium is equal to mu2 by mu1 that is equal to c1 by c2 means inversely proportional that also equal to lambda1 by lambda2 means whenever the light ray travels from one medium to other medium speed will change and wave length also will change frequency remains constant whatever frequency here is there here also same frequency frequency does not change frequency is constant if you do the experiment in two media if this is one media and it is the second media <coughs> suppose if you do the experiment in the same media same medium means you see here this is the source source it blows the horn it blows the horn here observer is there he is the observer this is source blows the horn then the sound is coming like this whenever the source is moving towards this one and source exhibits the frequency m this is the original frequency original frequency whenever the source is moving towards the observer the frequency is variable that's what i told you frequency is variable apparent frequency that is n dash <coughs> this is different so this we have to calculate wavelength remains constant in this case lambda is a constant any doubt regarding this please ask me. sir what is n frequency will change okay sir frequency will change that frequency is called apparent frequency apparent frequency okay, okay sir got it now we do the uh, uh, conditions so what are the conditions see apparent frequency n a is equal to n into v plus r minus v not divided by v minus r plus v s this is the formula general formula what is v v is the speed speed of sound or velocity of sound in air so that is velocity of sound in air v is velocity of sound generally it is 330 meter per second what is v not velocity of observer velocity of observer what is v is velocity of source v s is the velocity of source v not is the velocity of observer v is the velocity of sound now you take the cases case 1 source is at rest observer is motion that is the first one see source is at rest source is at rest and observer is in motion source is at rest and observer is motion in this first case a observer is moving towards the source observer he is moving towards the source observer is doing moving towards the source so the diagram i will draw here is source is at rest so this is the source it blows the horn means vs is equal to zero observer here is he is the observer observer is moving towards the source with the speed v not so whenever uh, this frequency is n whenever observer is moving towards the source towards the source uh, what about its frequency frequency will increase or decrease when observer is moving towards the source 
when observer is moving when observer is moving towards the source what about its frequency will it increase or decrease anybody sir decrease ha huh? ah line load no okay sir it will increase or decrease increase sir increase whenever he is moving towards the source will increase that is n into what is this equation v plus by v why because vs is zero see here so so this is the equation so vs is zero v plus we have to take plus v plus v not by v n a is equal to v plus v not by v any doubt uh, keshav హలో ఇప్పుడే పంపిస్తున్న లైన్ లో ఉండు Yes. Any doubt regarding this? No doubt, sir. No doubt. For all. All clear. Right. Next. Case two. Here only case two. Wait, sir. Wait, sir. Case two. Sir, please wait. Observer is moving away from the source. observer is moving away from the source see here this is the source fixed source vs is equal to 0 he is the observer observer is moving away so what about this frequency na is equal to n v v not by v ah away means the frequency will reduce or decrease uh, increase or decrease upper end decrease sir decrease means here minus or plus numerator minus sir minus right minus that is the answer observer is moving away from this source so these two are the conditions next one source is in motion source is in motion observer is at rest that is the second one next one is wait sir okay 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 done sir ah oh. keshav ha ah, sir after after completion of this class sir uh, uh, i will teach you the thermodynamics okay ha ah, okay sir you keep on don't switch off you keep there itself sir you stay there ha ah, okay sir right so this the uh, observer is motion and uh, uh, source is at rest next one is observer is at rest and source is in motion that is the second one see so second case is observer he is at rest and source is in motion observer is at rest and source is in motion now in this first one source is moving towards the observer towards the observer means <coughs> this is the source 
so it moves the horn yes observer is at rest v not is equal to zero now you tell me source is moving towards observer n a apparent frequency that is equal to n into v by v v s is it correct or not why because v not is zero now whenever the source is moving towards the observer what about its frequency will increase or decrease Source is moving towards the observer means what about the frequency? Will there it increase or decrease? Increase. Increase means denominator will decrease or increase. Denominator. Decrease minus. Decrease sign. minus. Right, very good. Minus. Good. Next. In this, source is moving. <coughs> Away. Away from the observer. Away from the observer. See here. So here observer is there. V not is equal to zero. Now source is moving away like this. Now you write the equation. N A is equal to N into V by V V S. Now you tell me. Source is moving away like this. What about the frequency heard by the observer? Will it increase or decrease? Decrease. Sir. Decrease means here plus or minus. Plus. Sir, plus. Right, plus. Very good. Please take it. Next case is both are in motion. Next case will take both are in motion. <clears throat> Done, sir. Completed. Yes, sir. Next case is both are in motion. Both are in motion. In this first one, both are moving towards each other. Both are moving towards each other. towards each other means to see here this is the source vs is moving in this direction and observer is also moving like this now you tell me both are moving towards each other what are the frequency that is equal to n into v v not by v vs now see the numerator observer is moving towards the source observer is moving towards the source What about its frequency? Will increase or decrease? Increase, sir. Increase means numerator is plus or minus. Plus, sir. Right. Now see the source. Source is moving towards the observer. Source is moving towards the ball observer. What about its frequency? Will increase or decrease? Increase. Increase means what about its denominator? Minus. Yeah, minus. That's right. Both are moving towards each other. Please take it. <coughs> Sir, what about lambda here? Wavelength. Wavelength does not change. That's I told you, na. Okay, sir. Okay. This is apparent frequency only. Apparent frequency. Okay, sir. Next case, sir. Both are moving away from each other. Both are moving away from each other. B. Both are moving away from each other. both are moving away from each other means this is the source it is moving in this direction vs observer observer moving away now what about subparent frequency n dash is equal to n into v v not by v vs now you tell me 
the observer is moving away what about the frequency will increase or decrease 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 means minus or plus minus minus right now source is moving away from the observer source is moving away what about its frequency will increase yes. frequency decrease sir what about numerator denominator positive plus plus, plus right Please yes take. sir plus so these are the doppler effects we do some problems this one this <coughs> Okay, completed. Yes, sir. Shall we do some problems based on this? Yes, sir. Please take it. Take the problem. A fire engine. A fire engine. A fire engine. Honking. H O N K I N G. Honking. A fire engine honking with a frequency of. A fire engine honking. A fire engine honking with a frequency of 500 h, 500 h. A fire engine honking with a frequency of, with a frequency of 500 h, moves away from a stationary observer. Moves away from a stationary observer with a velocity of. Moves away from a stationary observer with a velocity of 50 meter per second. 50, 50, 50, 50 meter per second. Full stop. If the velocity of sound in air is, if the velocity of sound in air is 340 meter per second, 340, 340 meter per second, comma, what is the apparent change in frequency of sound? What is the apparent change in frequency? Sir, can you repeat after velocity of sound in air? Yeah, a fire engine honking with a frequency of 500 h moves away, moves away from a stationary observer, from a stationary observer with a velocity of with a velocity of 50 meter per second, 50 50 50 meter per second. Fifty meter per second. Full stop. If the velocity of sound in air is, if the velocity of sound in air is three forty meter per second, three forty meter per second, three forty meter per second, comma, what is the apparent change in frequency of sound? What is the apparent apparent change in frequency of sound? what is the apparent change in frequency of sound as heard by the observer as heard as heard h e a r d heard by the observer as heard by the observer as heard by the observer if it moves towards the observer if it moves towards the observer if it moves towards the observer comma What is the change in frequency? 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 Do it, please. First case is engine is moving away. Second case is engine is moving the stationary observer. So first case four thirty five point eight. First case four thirty five point. Ah yeah, correct only. Correct. Second case eight ninety four point seven. Second case eight ninety four point seven. No, sorry. Wrong. Second case is wrong. Sir, 
sir repeat second case again question second case sir ha yes <coughs> it moves towards the observer it moves towards the stationary observer it moves towards the stationary observer clear sir yes sir clear ha huh? vs sir vs they have given 50 no 50 sir second case ha uh, 586.2 586.2 ओके सो the rest of the problems we will do tomorrow <coughs> tomorrow we will finish uh, this uh, sound and wave and oscillations also already i i completed the oscillations simple harmonic motion also we completed after completion of this we move into the mechanical uh, property uh, 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 mechanical properties of solids okay so okay sir anish we will send you the material today today i'll send the material to you. okay na okay, okay sir okay okay sir okay sir okay all of you good night good Thank night you. sir bye ah. sir bye bye sir keshav keshav ha ah, sir you stay there you stay there okay sir okay except keshav remaining please all of you please uh, leave the uh, session to him i want to teach uh, something uh the thermodynamics ah <clears throat> uh, keshav sir what i taught you where i stopped that uh, session to you cv and cv value sir diatomic and monatomic yeah. uh? yeah. cp and cv values sir cp greater than cv you know cp minus cv ah. and gamma values CP. ah gamma values diatomic and monatomic values okay okay <coughs> so First law of thermodynamics: specific heat of capacity is over. Cp greater than Cv. Uh, that also over, I think. Cp uh, greater than Cv also over. Thermodynamic process are there. Thermodynamic process. Hi, hi, sir. Ah. Um, thermodynamic process are okay. there <coughs> sir yes can i also continue the same class sir your wish your wish uh, why because i am middle in the thermodynamics middle okay sir he is the middle if you want to listen listen otherwise leave it again i will explain oh, so okay, sir. केशव हा सर प्लीज यू टेक धर्म प्रोसेस यू टेक दट इज ऐसो धर्मल प्रोसेस यू टेक ISO thermal process okay
isothermal pawan isothermal process yes sir you want to listen why because he is a, uh, the special student he is asking that some some doubt so i am teaching if you want to leave means you leave otherwise you can't you want to stay means you can stay no problem at all that's your okay. wish your wish that is your wish okay okay sir so keshav so you take a, 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 till now what i explained from beginning on what so from beginning on uh, oh yeah so for from beginning on what what i explained just you can check it okay just you can check it okay sir and uh, where <clears throat> isothermal process you take keshav isothermal process isothermal process isothermal process is the constant temperature process so this is the constant temperature process constant temperature process it obeys the boyle's law it obeys the boyle's law what is boyle's law pv is equal to nrt and constant so pv is equal to constant means p is proportional to 1 by v means p1 v1 is equal to p2 v2 that is equal to constant so if you want to draw the graph between pressure and volume it should be like a hyperbola like this please take it so what about the internal energy temperature is constant means have you completed this how can we get right now you see what i am explaining see suppose if you take uh, this is the cylinder it is having the uh, gas at a temperature t1 pressure p1 volume v1 now by giving heat to the system so that is dq it can be utilized into two purposes that's what i told you a part of this one is utilized to increase the internal energy du that is equal to mcv dt dt is nothing but change in temperature that is mcv into delta t or dt and the remaining part is utilized to move the piston from v1 to v2 that's what i told you so initially that the piston is here so i am moving that uh, that piston from v1 to v2 means that is p into dv this is nothing but dw dw now see here this what i written change in temperature but according to boyle's law what i told you temperature remains constant so in isothermal process temperature remains constant it means there is exchange of heat between system and surroundings this is the surroundings surroundings and it is the system so there is exchange of heat between system and surroundings so there is no change in temperature temperature remains constant can you understand keshav so temperature remains constant means internal energy is equal to zero <coughs> internal energy is equal to change in internal energy is zero so total heat energy whatever energy you are giving the total heat energy dq is equal to dw only that is equal to p into dv very very important so in case of isothermal process in case of isothermal process change in internal energy is zero total energy is equal to external work done that is dw that is equal to p into dv please take it now we can derive that equation okay so now we can derive okay. the equation yeah we can derive the equation for this total heat energy dq so total heat energy 
dq is equal to dw that is equal to p into dv p into dv integrating on both sides so integral of dw is equal to integral of what about p p you write like this pv is equal to nrt no so pv is equal to nrt pv is equal to nrt therefore p is equal to nrt divided by v so you write that one nrt divided by v into dv so integration and derivation gets cancel and this volume is from v not to v1 whatever it can take so nrt is constant that is nrt int integral of v not to v1 or v whatever it may be 1 by v into dv <coughs> otherwise you take v v1 so this limits you can take v1 to v2 this is v1 to v2 here also you can take the limits so here also you can take the limits this is v1 and it is v2 so 1 by v dv so what is integral of 1 by x dx integral of here i am writing integral of 1 by x dx that is equal to log x so this you can write like this that is equal to nrt nrt into log v log v from v1 to v2 so that is equal to nrt into log base 10 into v2 by v1 so this is the work done so if you want to convert this one into uh natural log that is 0.203 into nrt into log base for v2 divided by v1 this is the work done in isothermal process that is the work done please take it 2.302 this is 2.302 this is 2.302 into nrt please take it so complete it ha complete right next adiabatic process we go for adiabatic process this is isothermal process next you go for adiabatic process second one is the adiabatic process what is adiabatic process i told you isolated system adiabatic process means there is no exchange of heat between system and surroundings there is no exchange of heat between system and surroundings so it is completely isolated system so please you write that point in adiabatic process in adiabatic process there is no exchange of heat between there is no exchange of heat between system and surroundings there is no exchange of heat between system and surroundings there is no exchange of heat between system and surroundings have you written that one so no we did if you give the heat so if you give the heat here that is dq it can be utilized into two purposes that is internal energy du is equal to m cv dt and remaining part dw is equal to p into dv means the piston is moving from v1 to v2 piston is moving from v1 to v2 like this means that you write the equation dq is equal to du plus dw but what i told you dq is equal to zero why because there is no exchange of heat between system and surroundings so that's what i told you know so dq is equal to zero so you write like this that is equal to zero is equal to m cv dt plus dw please you write this one. that is equal to zero is equal to m cv dt plus p into dv write this equation please write that equation <coughs>
now from ideal gas equation see from ideal gas equation from ideal gas equation from ideal gas equation what is the ideal gas equation that is pv is equal to rt no pv equal to rt differentiation on both sides if you differentiate on both sides on differentiating both sides yes on differentiating both sides what you get p into dv plus v into dp is it correct or not p into dv plus v into dp that is equal to r into dt p into dv plus v into dp is equal to r into dt what about the dt dt is equal to p into dv plus v into dp divided by r that is a dt you substitute the dt in the above equation what is the above equation this one so zero is equal to m into cv cv into what about dt dt is p into dv plus v into dp divided by p into dv plus v into dt divided by r is it correct or not where i have written that one where it is shall i write ah yeah here yeah. so divided by r plus p into dv <coughs> This is the given equation. This equation you got. So from this, uh, CV you take as a common. So you take uh, m is equal to one mole. One mole you can take. Then CV into P dV plus V dP plus R into P into dV is equal to zero. Is equal to zero. Okay. Is equal to zero. Now you write uh, what is R? You know the R value is R value. What is R? This R you can substitute like CP minus CV is equal to R. That it that you can write. So CV into P dV plus V dP plus CP minus CV into P into dV is equal to zero. now you take cv as a constant for all these things if you take cv constant here p dv here minus p dv plus cv into v into dp plus cp into p into dv that is equal to 0 now p into dv p into dv this should be cancel so what you get this equation cv into final equation what you get that one uh what equation you get that one dividing the above equation through a cv into p into v cv into p into v means cv into v into dp divided by you divide uh, you divide with uh, you divide that equation with uh, cv into p into v cv into p into v plus here also cp into p into dv divided by cv into p into v now any cancellations are there vv gets cancelled cv cv gets cancelled and here also c pp gets cancelled now 1 by p dp plus cp by cv is gamma gamma into 1 by v dv is equal to 0 is equal to 0 okay so gamma into 1 by t is equal to 0 so here you write gamma is equal to since you write gamma is equal to cp by cv now from this equation again you can derive that equation that is gamma gamma into dv is equal to 0 no you take that side if you take that side gamma into 
1 by v into dv that is equal to minus 1 by p into dp now integration on both sides if we take the integration on both sides if we take the integration on both sides then integration on both sides then gamma into what about 1 by v dv log that is log no so log base yes, e for, yeah log base e log base e for v2 by v1 v2 by v1 is equal to minus log base e power p2 by p1 log base e power p2 by p1 so you write this one this one you can write like this this equation log base e power v2 by v1 whole power gamma that is equal to minus log base e power this minus is there no minus if you take uh, inside <coughs> then you write uh, p1 by p2 this minus you can take inside okay p2 so minus p2 uh, you write this is as p1 minus yes. now log gets cancel therefore p v2 power gamma divided by v1 power gamma is equal to p1 by p2 means p2 into v2 power gamma is equal to p1 into v1 power gamma means pv power gamma is equal to constant that's the formula please take it shall i minimize this one yes take it Take it. Yes. PV power gamma is equal to constant. Sir. Yes. What you have written at bottom? Which one? <coughs> This PV one. PV power gamma, na? Constant. Constant. P V power gamma is equal to constant. Okay. <coughs> P V power gamma is equal to constant. Completed. I completed. Okay, sir. Right now, this is P V power gamma is equal to constant. I have written now. You write. Uh, Uh, in terms of t and v, you write this one in terms of you write in terms of p and t that equation, and you write in terms of t and v. Please you write here. I have given p in terms of p p v, but you have to write in terms of p and t. You have to write in terms of t and v. Do it please. Which one you want? I'll do one of these two. Which one you want? Tell me. T into V. P into T. Shall I do? Uh, okay, sir. T means uh, what is the original equation? We have P V power gamma is equal to constant. So you have to write this equation in terms of P and T. Means you know the T equation. You know P V. Is equal to R T. R is not. Y is one mole. I have taken. V is equal to R T by P. So that is substituted here. If you substitute it here, P into R T by P whole power gamma is equal to constant. Means P into P power minus gamma into R into T power gamma is equal to constant. So R is also constant. Leave it. So therefore, P power one minus gamma into T power gamma is equal constant. This is the relation. P power one minus gamma into T power gamma is equal constant. Like that, like that, you write uh, the T equation in terms of T and V. You write V and T. Please write. So this is P power one minus gamma into T power gamma is equal constant. 
or PV power gamma is equal to constant. Similarly, in terms of V and T, you can write V and T. V and T. Completed. One minute. Oh. <clears throat> Jyoti, sir. Jyoti. Jyoti. <coughs> sir. Jyoti, good evening. Okay. Completed this one, Anish. What you got? Uh, uh, sir, sir, uh, sir, completed. Yes. Sir, it's sir completed. Yes. What you get? No. Sir, TV TV power uh, gamma minus one. T V power gamma. Very good. Very good. Is equals to constant. Yes, sir. T V power constant. Is it correct or not? T V power gamma. Yes, Correct. this one. T V power gamma minus one is equal to constant. Keshav. Sir. Did you get that one? Yes, sir. Huh? Sir, we can. Okay, now. Huh? I got the same. You got that value? Yes, sir. Very good. Next two. Work done in an adiabatic process. Work done. Now you go for work done. Work done. Work done. Work done in adiabatic process. What is the work done in adiabatic process? Work done, you know. <coughs> that is DW is equal to P into D. DW is equal to P into D. Is it correct or not? And uh, you know, PV power gamma is equal to constant. You assume like this, PV power gamma is equal to constant. So P is equal to some constant K <coughs> by V power gamma. You substitute that one here. DW is equal to K by V power gamma into DV. Integration on both sides. Integration derivatives gets cancelled. W is equal to some constant into this one. You write v power minus gamma into d. V power minus gamma into d. V. Like this, you can write. So v power minus gamma means integral of t here. Integral of x power and dx. That is equal to x to the power of n plus one divided by n plus one. For that, work done is equal to some constant k into this is v power minus gamma plus one divided by minus gamma plus one from v one to v two. Yes. So therefore, work done is equal to k by one minus gamma. This I have written one minus gamma into v two power one minus gamma plus minus minus no minus v one power one minus gamma. 
So this is the work done. Please take it. K by one minus gamma into that K you take inside. That K you take inside. For example, so work done is equal to one by one minus gamma into K into V two power one minus gamma minus K into V one power one minus gamma. What is K? Yeah, not you know. Is it correct or not? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Correct. P K. What is K value? Yeah, not. Is it correct or not? N R T. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Me yeah. R P one V one. R otherwise you can write like this K. See, this is K. Sorry, this is K. So K is not N R T. K P V power gamma is equal constant actually. K is P V power gamma means K you can write like this. P one V one power gamma that also equal to P two V two power gamma. You write like this also. K is P V power gamma is equal constant. No, K you can write P one V one power gamma that also equal to P two V two power gamma. If you write here in K, here you write like this. Where here? See, work done. Is equal to one by one minus gamma into here you write uh, instead of K. P two V two power gamma into V two power one minus gamma. Any doubt? No sir. No sir. No sir. You write minus in K. You write P one V one power gamma into V one power one minus gamma. Since since K is equal to P one V one power gamma, that is equal to P two V two power gamma. Now bases are equal. Add the powers. So therefore, work done is equal to one by one minus gamma into P two into bases are equal at the powers. P two V two minus P one V one. P one V one. So P two V two minus P one. But what is P V? P V is equal to R. That you write here. Therefore, work done is equal to. Okay, one by one minus gamma into this is. N R T two minus N R T one. So you take a N R by one minus gamma into T two minus T one. That's the final answer. So this is what. Please take it. This is the final answer. N R by one minus gamma into T two minus T one. T two minus T one. Please take it. Okay. In some test books, they have written this is work done is equal to n r into gamma minus one. Work done is equal to n r divided by gamma minus one. Minus they have taken common. That is t one minus t two. This is the work done in adiabatic process. Work done in adiabatic process. Okay. Today I am going to close this session. Keshav, ah uh, sir, completed ah uh, these two. Ah uh, ah uh, completed sir. So tomorrow also you come the same thing. No okay sir. You enter and uh, after completion of that class I will continue to you. Okay. No uh, okay sir. You do some problems based on this work done in isothermal process and adiabatic process. Okay na? Uh, okay. Okay sir. Bye. Good night. Sir. Oh, good night, yes. sir. Sir. Yes. Sir, are you taking class in morning tomorrow? Morning, I'm taking the class. No, nine more class. Sir, but my uh, school classes are going on, so I can't join. Yeah, I think today also you are not joined, no. Sir, I have joined for 
few minutes and then I have left. Why? Sir, because of school classes. Okay. At what time you have the classes? So you can take uh, afternoon session or evening session. Myself, huh? Morning you are uh, complete busy. Pawan? Sir, before 8 a.m. you can take class. Before In 8 morning. Okay, okay. Shall I start at 7? 7, 7 a.m. Okay, sir. <coughs> okay, tomorrow I will take at 7 a.m. Okay, na? Okay, sir. All right, thank you. Thank you, sir. Bye, sir. Bye. Good night. Good night, sir. Good night. Jyoti, who is this Jyoti? 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 Who is this Jyoti? Jyoti Gill? Okay.